Hello my friends, in this video we'll be taking a look at the uh, new changes, new exciting new changes that I've made to my Genome Analyzer tool. The link to this, uh, to this site, the live site that's hosted by GitHub Pages, will be in the description of this video. It's absolutely free, you don't have to pay me anything to use it. And I'm going to show you what, uh, what it contains now. So we're going to look at, we're going to look at Andre Small. Actually, no, this, we're not going to look at that because it's a big file and it's going to uh, take a long time to load. So we're going to look at Andre Color. This is basically only the variants that have to do with uh, coloring. Uh, HERC2, OCA2, IRF4, SLC24A4, SLC24A5, TIR1, TIR, SLC24A5A2. Tier tier, SLC uh, so this is only the coloring related variants that are found in my file. <laughs> and this is a very small file. And the reason I'm using it here is because it's very small and it's going to load really fast. So we're going to uh, enter Andre Color. We're going to enter my the first three letters of my name, Andre. The result will be the absolutely identical with um, uh, with a um, normal file, at least when it comes to uh, eye color calculator results. And this is what I added. This is the new thing that I added here. It's it's this eye color calculator results. As you can see with the eye color calculator results, this is my predicted eye color. And um, there is uh, this statistics page where you where you see the likelihood of your eye color falling into one of the uh, the six categories here: blue, blue with ember center, green, hazel, light brown, and dark brown. Uh, with Nashakot, my prediction is that I have blue eyes with an ember center. That's my prediction with Nashakot, and this is different from Nashakot. <laughs> What's the difference? Why is it different from Nashakot? You might ask. Well, the difference is that this uh, eye color estimate, this Bayesian eye color estimate, is only using your genotypes in the OCA2 and HERC2 region. It has nothing to do with your genotypes in TIRP1, TIR, IRF4. All the other genes are irrelevant when it comes to this calculation. In this calculation, the only relevant factor is your genotype in OCA2 and HERC2 region. Uh, is it it's obviously not better than Nashakot because Nashakot is simply uh, having a larger scope. There is uh, the effect of such variance, uh, big variants in tier, tier 1, tier IRF4, SLC 2485, SLC uh, 4582. All those variants are contributing. Though all those variants contribute to your eye color. So uh, this prediction is not exactly the same as Nashakot. And it's a lot worse, I would say, than Nashakot. It's not as reliable as Nashakot because this is only OCA2 and HERC2. Uh, however, it may be fun, it may be interesting for you to see what your eye color would look like based on your OCA2 and HERC2 genotype. And oh, my throat is, um, I have some, I have some, I don't know, some something fishy going on there. Uh, so this is what it looks like. And uh, it's free. Nashakot you have to pay for, this is free. Free stuff is always good. So um, uh, you can reset the scores here. And after you reset, it's going to look like this. Uh, after you reset, it's going to look something like this, right? So you need to reset after every file you run. Now we're going to look at uh, we're going to look at um, my little uh, my little half brother. Him and my little half sister have the same exact um, genotype in OCA2 and HERC2 in every variation. So they pretty much have the same prediction. Uh, that's why I'm not showing you her. I'm only showing you my brother. So this is my brother's prediction, and this is his percentages. This is his scores. Very interesting stuff. Uh, now for darker. By the way, you can see it because it's a small file because it's a um, coloring-related variance file. There is nothing found here for mental health, lactose persistence, empathy, hemochromatosis. All that stuff is simply not found in the file because it's it's uh, only coloring related variants file. I'm, I'm just showing you uh, the coloring stuff here. Now we're going to look at this guy, father coloring. This is not my father. This is some other dude from the internet uh, that I I was working with. So we're going to look at what his father is, get, is scoring with uh, my OCA2 and HERC2 eye color predictor. And this is what sort of a darker eye result looks like with my eye color predictor. Uh, as you can see here, the likelihood of dark brown eyes is the highest, followed by light brown. And there is really insignificant likelihood of hazel, green, and everything else. And by the way, this, individual's, this individual with Nashakot does not score like this. With Nashakot, this individual scores a lot more light brown and hazel and green and all that stuff. 
uh, with Nashakot, his score is not like this at all. But, by the way, a um, question that might come up is the variants that are used in this prediction, the variants that are used in this uh, uh, eye color estimate, are they, is it only this stuff or is there more? So, it's 100% of this goes into the estimate, 100% of it, every single variant that's on the screen here, and more. There is like there's like six more or seven more variants that I, I've focused on previously in my studies, and all of those variants go into the, they factor into the calculation, right? So uh, it's what you see on the screen and more, but it's all in the OCA2 and HERC2 region. It's all in this one specific tight region, nothing from outside of this region, right? So... In total, I think it's like 13 or 14 SNPs, or maybe 15. All right, now we're gonna look at uh, this this uh, dude's the same dude's mother, her coloring related variants. By the way, this is once again not my mother. So this dude's mother, uh, her predicted eye color is like this. I'm just showing you the kind of di different ranges of results that you might get here. So this is her score, the highest. A score that she scores is hazel eyes. Hazel eyes is the biggest component she scores, followed by light brown, followed by blue with amber center, followed by green, uh, and 3% likelihood of dark brown, and pretty much insignificant, uh, negligible likelihood of blue eyes for her. Okay, so uh, just in case you forgot what my tool is, or maybe this is the first video you see on my channel and you don't, uh, you don't, um, you aren't familiar with it. In case you aren't familiar with, with what this is, I'm going to show you the other amazing stuff uh, that my trait predictor does besides eye color predictions. So we're going to run my whole genome file, not the eye color variants, the actual genome file. And it's going to take a little bit. Uh, the reason I selected, I, I made these files for uh, coloring variants is because it's a lot quicker. And this is going to take a while, right? So we're going to have to click wait. It's gonna have to t we're going to have to wait a little bit for this to load. By the way, uh, I do want to remind you that after every run, uh, after every run, you want to reset all the calculator scores. It's very good practice. If you don't, you're not going to get accurate results. You're not going to get good results. Um, and we're going to enter my name. So you basically get a whole like health and traits. Um, health and traits result. This is all your health and traits, health and traits, health and traits miscellaneous, it has stuff like, like micro P, uh, it's a, it has a lot of very interesting stuff here. Uh, it has stuff like, no, let, me scroll, let me scroll up here. It has stuff like this for 5-HTTLPR prediction. So you can see I have long form 5-HTTLPR, which is very interesting. I find that one, one of the most fascinating um, variants out of all of them uh, out of all of the variants in the genome, I like this vari variation a lot. I talk about it in every video I make. Uh, and there is also polygenic risk scores page like this here. You can click and you see the polygenic risk scores. Uh, so you see I have this many times the average of schizophrenia for Northern Europeans, this many times the average of schizophrenia for Sub-Saharan Africans. I have this many times the average odds of diabetes, type 2 diabetes. I have this many times the average odds of Alzheimer's based on my genome data. By the way, um, this polygenic risk scores page is based on more. Uh, it is based on the data that is th this is based on is more than what you just see on the screen. Uh, there is also a lot of variants that are not shown on the screen that contribute to this result. Uh, if you are really curious and you want to find out what variants those are, you can uh, look for the code, which is on my GitHub. Uh, but this is what the uh, polygenic risk scores page looks like as it is currently. Now, there is also a ethnic calculator page where you see um, your ethnicity calculation. And um, the ethnic calculator page, these results, they, um, they may not be too reliable. I don't know how, I don't think they're very good, uh, these uh, scaled results. But uh, the coordinates, actually tend to be pretty precise. As precise as you would expect a calculator that only has 200 SNPs uh, in its... Um, uh, as precise as a calculator with 200 SNPs uh, in its data sheet to be. Uh, it's obviously not Eurogenes K13, it's obviously not G25, but it's still pretty good as it is. Well, thanks for watching. Check out my trade predictor. If you like it, uh, consider donating, consider buying my Nashakot. Goodbye.